Hi there, Luke from My Volts here. Uh, I'm here today with uh, my good friend Cristiano <laughs> from Sismo Since. We're wanting uh, to sort of help not only uh, you know sort of our products develop, but also our partners, uh, you know, such as Sismo uh, and various other people we've worked with. So we're going to do a special offer where if you do buy the Sismo Hello mo module, you'll also get a, a pack of um, our Halo. Um, uh, like LED patch cables, which um, we think you know sort of complement them very well. Mm -hmm. And but regardless of your, your your setup, we think they'll be useful. Uh, we'll put the details of all that in the post, and uh, we can tell you how to work that out. But you know, uh, personally, I I, re I really wanted to make this video because I think people should be supporting you know small makers. You know, people should be trying to get people who are doing interesting things and have put a lot of work into. Um, making and evolving because that's where the interesting stuff usually happens, you know. So it, it, it's we're we're very privileged to work <laughs> with you on, on, on this, mm. um, and uh, you should check out their website. Uh, you'll see a lot of uh, very colourful, very interesting, and as interesting on the inside as they are on the outside. Yeah, uh, yeah. like very explorative, um, accessible synths. I think that are just a lot of fun. Yeah, your, your focus are desktop uh, um, and standalone devices. And actually now you release our, our Aerorack version of uh, the USG Sir mod modular version. We're very inspired of that. And uh, allow you to make a lot of fun and it's, you know, it's a kind of two oscillators, LFOs. I, I was asking Cristiano to, to explain to me and I, I have some notes, I mean, I think it this, like the, what I had sort of taken from it was that you know allows you to sort of shape, distort, and merge signals, create feedback loops, and do this with all you know within a sort of wide frequency range. It also does some work with the envelope and envelope. Yeah. Uh, you, you can make some cross patching. You have two, of course. You have some send signal one to, to another one, yeah. and the amazing result. You know, just just to give you a rough layout of the board, you've got uh, the circles here are are all inputs. And then the squares are all outputs. So maybe you could just run through telling people what the uh, yeah, this kind of, kind of code we have for easy to, to recognize what yeah. inputs and outputs. And we have two, two uh, main parameters: uh, rise and fall. Mm -hmm. And then you can select it then. Okay. And the middle have both. Yeah. Um, um, control voltage input right here. Yeah. And then you have also voltage per octave. Yeah. Is not exactly uh, voltage per octave trackable. Yeah. I mean, like uh, notes. Yeah. It's not not because it's not designed for for for, for this. Yeah. It can um, <clears throat> for the environment can change the, the notes specifically. Yeah. So you can use for experimentation. Yeah. It's, it's nice. And then in terms of outputs, there's, there's a number of different outputs, right? So. Well, could you yeah, run through the different outputs? Uh, have end of cycles, it means like uh, end of gate cycle. Right. We have, uh, uh, we have the um, AC, yeah. uh, um, AC coupled out output. Uh -huh. We have a mi minus and, 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 and below zero, zero yeah. signals. Yeah. Um, um, bipolar. Yeah. Very nice with your cables. Yeah, with the halo cables. You can see both yeah. negative and positive signals in the different colors. And when they, when they go together, you get like interesting like blues and reds caused purples and stuff like that. I mean, we've had so much fun over the last few weeks playing with it. I mean, we've run signals in from the, the Korg MS20 Mini. Uh, we've got like a, a module here with a few Dreadbox modules that are just, you know, uh, like, you know, oscillators and, and, and just pushing things in. There's a huge variation, even just like a sequence signal going in, uh, like a little trigger going in. And you know, you, can, you, you know, when, when you have that ability to put lots of stuff in, mm -hmm. you can mix it with itself. You can mix it with other Hello boards, and you know, it, it just seems to give these very, uh, as um, uh, Cristiano said, very unpredictable results. There's also, I, I was mentioning the the sort of the frequency range. Uh, there's, there's a little pot on the back that you can actually adjust that. Right? Yeah, it can, can um, change the, the bottom of, of the of the top of the right range, so can adjust. So, so you can focus on mids or highs or lows, yes, and yes, you can yes. get it all. You know, get get unpredictability within a specific yeah. range, which is interesting. Exactly. Yeah, yes. 
Yeah. And, and you've, you've made in this very lovely oh, course, uh, yeah. uh, wooden box, you, you've put a, that in a small enclosure. Will they be for sale as well? The, uh, yeah, 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 the, the box for, for sale. Because sometimes people don't have that, this hero rack environment yeah. to, to connect it. It have power um, inside to yeah. convert, of course, my vote to 12, 12 volts, yeah, convert yeah. it to minus and plus 12 volts and, z and ground. And have one model in a box, in a wood box. Yeah. It's well, handmade uh, well, wood box. What we found was, uh, I mean, even something as simple as, you know, like a Korg SQ1 sequencer, just running a signal from that in and then like patching through it, you know, patching it back to itself. Um, and, you know, uh, put it, you know, you can, you can sort of work that into sort of other oscillating units or you can sort of bring oscillations into it. You know, it just, it's a nice, um, a nice way to sort of add a little bit of special sauce to things. You know, you sort of, you get lots of variation because you can put so much in and take so much out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot, lot of choices to yeah. just pick your, your, your yeah. flavor. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, and do you want to talk to us a little bit about, you have, um, are you going to be releasing as well? You have uh, the, uh, the module with, uh, an LFO built into it as well. Um, are, 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 are they going to be for sale? The, uh, yeah, it's already for sale. This one. So, you know, so this is this is the hello module with an the extended version. Yeah, yeah. yeah with, with an LFO built into it. And again, you know, you've got you've got more to play with. You've more ins and outs. So, uh, you know, things can get more interesting. And again, you put this in a very lovely handmade enclosure, which you know, gives people, oh, that's a lovely size for, you know, adding something uh, to, to whatever your setup is, uh, be it a modular or, 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 or whatever else. Yeah. It's very portable. Yeah, very well, portable. that's it. It's, Put it's, the battery it's on, very you, practical. you know, yeah. go to the park, go to whatever. And uh, yeah, thanks again for Thank coming to talk to us. All right. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, good Hello. <laughs>